so today's video is going to be a tutorial on all that I'm wearing right now. It's a really simple um, and easy everyday glam look. Uh, you can definitely wear it every day if you want to, but this is my go-to look for a night out or any special occasion. I really like it because it's not too much makeup. I mean, okay, I used uh, lots of products, but what I want to say is that it's not uh, really intense eye makeup, really intense face makeup. It looks really fresh, but at the same time, it's really glam. This is one of my all-time favorite looks. I'm also giving you two lip options at the end of this video, so let me know which one was your favorite. I really hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to start off by applying some primer. I'll use the Professional by Benefit and I'll use my fingers to apply it all over my face. But instead of using like circular motions to apply it, I will actually press it into my skin because I feel like the foundation sits a lot better on my, on my skin when I apply the primer this way. For foundation, I'm going with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I'm in the shade Y215. And I'm applying it with the new Makeup Sponge by Sigma. I'm taking the Born This Way Concealer in light and I'll use it to cover up any blemishes and spots that I have. And I'll use again that sponge by Sigma to blend it all out. Just very light pressure for this. And for my under eye area, I will switch to the NYX HD Studio Concealer. I have it in the shade 01, so I'll just apply some of it under my eyes. Again, blending it out with that Sigma brush, brush, <laughs> sponge. I also bring it on my eyelids. I'll set it in place with the Rimmel Match Perfection Lewis powder, and I'll use my puff to do that. With the same powder and the Morphe M500, I will just set my entire face. And I'm also setting that uh, concealer that I applied on my eyelids because it's creasing really easily there. Now it's time for the eyebrows. I'll use the Benefit Give Me Brow in shade number 3 and I'll use it to brush my hairs upwards and just make my brows look a little bit thicker and fuller. I mean, this brow gel is amazing, okay? Then I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade in medium brown and I will define a little bit more the shape of my eyebrows with it. That brow gel was absolutely enough, but I'm feeling like wearing a little bit more dramatic brows today. Using some concealer to clean up the edges. Alright, brows are done, now let's go ahead and do the eye makeup. I'll do something really simple today. From the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, I'll take this shade right here. It's called Milk Chocolate and with a Makeup Addiction Duo Fiber Blender Brush, I'll just place it in my crease and um, slowly build up the intensity. So I'm just adding a small amount of the shadow in my crease and I'm blending it all out using like circular motions, you know. Then I'm taking a little bit more, placing it in the crease again and just blending it out. Then I'm taking a little bit more again in the crease and again blending. 
and this way everything looks a lot smoother and really nicely blended and I will highlight my brow bone with this shade right here it's called white chocolate and the brush I'm using is the Sigma E59 I'll also add it a little bit here in the tear duct area Alright, so this is all for the eyeshadows I won't do anything else um, I really want to keep the things really simple today However, you can add some shimmery eyeshadow all over the lid area Just to give a lot more brightness to your eyes You can also play with the colors Maybe you want to add um, gold, bronze, uh, pink, green on the eyelid you can do whatever you like, but I'm just going to stop here. This is my favorite look, by the way. I really like how my eyes look when I just define my crease. And this is a really, really simple look. It's really easy to achieve as long as you have um, like some sort of brown eyeshadow and a blending brush. Just take your time when blending it out and it will all look good. I'll do some winged eyeliner with the Essence Deep Eyeliner. I'll use another brush to apply it. I like to take some of it on the back of my hand. And the other brush that I will use is the Essence Eyeliner brush. I mean, yeah, they knew what they were doing. <laughs> I want to do a really thin eyeliner today. I don't know if I can do that, but I'll try. having a good eyeliner day today <laughs> for false lashes today i'll go with this pair here by vegas nay it's called easy elegance this is a really natural pair of lashes next in my waterline i'll add some black pencil but i'll keep it just in the upper waterline and in the inner rim of my eyes i'll add this pencil here by sigma it's called polished it's just going to give some brightness to my eyes coating my lower lashes with some mascara this is the benefit they're real and I like to go with a clean spoolie through the lashes so that um, I take out the excess product and they look a little bit more natural for bronzer I'll go with the Hula bronzer by Benefit this is the light one I like the light more than the original one I'm going to use the Sigma F40 to apply it on my face okay now be prepared to see something really really cute for highlighter I'll go with this one here look at how cute packaging is that just look at it <laughs> This is so cute. This one is by Too Faced. It's called Blinded by the Light. And I'm not sure if by the time that you're watching this video, if these are going to be released. But uh, let me tell you, these are absolutely amazing. I also had it on my nose. My cupid bow and a little bit here above my brow I think that it looks really good and I'll switch to a smaller flat brush I'm pretty sure I got this from an eyeshadow palette or something and I will add the highlighter right here I won't bring it at the tail just at the arch and whatever I have left on the brush I'll just add it um, in the inner corners of my eyes Alright, so I thought that I would give you two lip options for this look. Since the eyes are so soft and neutral, you can go with something bolder on the on the lips. So the first option is this um, really red <laughs> lipstick by Morphe. It's called Hot Shot. Alright, so this is the first lip option and I love how it looks with the eye makeup. Red is the classic lip color, you can never go wrong with it. And I feel like I've been wearing it a lot lately. Um, I don't know, maybe it's because the spring is coming and the weather is getting a little bit warmer. I feel like wearing more 
color on my lips I don't know but I really like the whole look so yeah let's go ahead and see the next lip option all right so the next lip option I have for you is this really pretty pink it also has like a touch of mauve i don't know if you can tell through the camera this is the jouet liquid lipstick in the shade blush and i originally wanted to wear this look with this color but i thought that this look you can wear it with every single lip color that comes to your mind you can even wear it with more unusual colors like blue purple green every lip color matches with that eye makeup so be creative and since the spring is almost here i'm thinking about creating more colorful looks next let me guys know what you think about that and also let me know which one was your favorite lip color um i personally like both the red and the pink one as i said this eye makeup allows you to wear whatever you like on the lips and i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget that you can also follow me on my instagram facebook twitter and also visit my vlog all of the links as always will be down in the description box thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye